Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. And welcome is someone a little bit different. Um, so I came across a quiz online. And the quiz is entitled, How Scottish Are You? And I thought that sounds interesting, right? I mean, I consider myself pretty Scottish, right? And I think I think I think I look Scottish with the pale skin, freckles, a little bit of ginger, slight accent. I think I'm pretty Scottish. I think I think if you showed people me, and they were aware of, like, if people were well travelled and you showed them a picture of me and you said, "Where's this guy from?" Do we say Scotland? I think I just I think I'll just go out and look, right? But 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 let's find out what. Uh, let's find out how Scottish I really am according to some stupid quiz on a fucking website. Right, so Scotland claims rightly to be the best co Scotland claims rightly to be the best small country in the world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. For the size of the country, the thing Scotland's produced is, is pretty amazing. The inventions from golf to football to television sets and many, many more to export and whiskey in fine cuisine worldwide, right? For for a small country, we're doing okay, right? We're, we're doing pretty good for a small country. However, it is populated by a strange mixture of people whose centuries of conflict, both amongst themselves and their neighbours, has produced a mixture of genius and self-doubt in equal measure. Yeah, it's pretty spot on, right? You see, centuries of conflict. Um, Amongst themselves and their neighbours. The stuff amongst ourselves, fair enough, because back then, like, clan warfare and stuff, they used to fight in, for territory and land, and, you know, it's how it was. But the conflicts with the neighbours, I don't think was ever really our choosing. Yeah, it was always something that was sort of put on us. It wasn't, it wasn't what we chose. We didn't choose war with England. England chose war with us, right? I think. Genius and soft out in equal measure yet. From Wallace to Blair and possibly Brown. Honestly, how the fuck are you going to talk about William Wallace in the same fucking sentence as Tony Blair and Gordon Brown? That is breathtaking. That is, that is, that's insulting. That's, yeah, like Tony Blair may claim some Scottish like, ancestry. We do not claim Tony Blair. I don't even claim Gordon Brown. Gordon Brown can go fuck yourself. Both of them. Warmongers. Warmongers. Murderers. Genocidal maniacs. Scotland has its ups and downs, its caricatures, its characters, and its catastrophes. If you qualify as any part Scottish, then you're destined for greatness and dubiety in equal measure. Find out whether your cup is half full or half empty by completing this probing quiz into our national psyche. Sounds interesting, right? Sounds interesting. I've got no idea how it's got to turn out, but, but let's go. What is your age? I've got no idea what my age has got to do with how Scottish I am. Like, what a stupid first question. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, though, right? Do I have to tell you? No. What is your gender? Right. Simple enough, male. By the way, this must be an old, this must be an old fucking quiz because this has just got male and female. This has got male and female. This was like a, a recent quiz. This was held like a drop down menu, right? And, you know, I, I, I don't care. I do not care how people choose to identify themselves. I don't care. Just didn't like try to force it on me, right? But, yeah, male. 100% male. Right. Next. Was Hadrian's Wall built to keep the English out? Built to keep the Scots out? Neither. Whose wall? Right. Hadrian's Wall, I believe, I believe Hadrian's Wall was built by the Romans when they conquered England, because, you know, who hasn't? Who fucking hasn't? Um, they conquered England and they came across as they were at border. They came across um, a wild group of naked men, wild men with long hair, painted blue, 
and they sort of decided rather than venture into the wilds and woodlands of Scotland, they would build a wall to keep the Scots out, right? So I believe, I believe that is why, that is what Hadrian's Wall was built for. Somebody might tell me I'm speaking absolute nonsense, but I believe that's what it was. Who was sent him to think again? Was it Bonnie Prince Charlie, Charles Edward Stuart, Edward the First, or some other Edward or Wally? By the way, do any of you do any of you know who Or Wally is? Look up Or Wally is brilliant Scottish um, little comic character, blonde hair, sits in a bucket, and Or Wally. I think every child in Scotland got Or Wally books for Christmas. You get in Christmas, you get an Or Wally book in the Bruins, and it was like um, comic strips. A book called Comic Strips. It was every year. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Sing a song. This is Employer Scotland. <laughs> Edward. Edward. One of the Edwards. Fuck no. It was a long line of scumbag Edward, kings of England. And it was one of them. Told to do one, do one, mate. Piss off. One of the Edwards is the description. Gai Fu, Chinese, Japanese, computer jargon, or lowland Scots. Right. Like, not only do I know it's lowland Scots, I think I know what it means. It's not like it gets it. it to be fair, I think, it's, I think it's Lowland Scots. Like we, not so much where I live, but around me is like countryside and farms and like, you know, a lot of villages. And they talk a lot of these sort of. So, Gai Fu, um, Gai, so it means very, Gai, Gai Fast, Gai M, um, Gai Bonnie. Right, gay, gay means means very, very. Fu is one of the thousands of Scottish words for drunk. I believe it comes from um, fu, full of drink, full of drink, fu. So gay fu means very drunk, I believe, which, you know, of course it is. Scotland, very drunk, gay fu. <laughs> Our Celtic and Rangers, famous English football teams, famous Scottish football teams, Glasgow's cultural heritage, your sole reason for existence, none of the above if you done D. Right. So realistically, realistically, although there are famous Scottish football teams in a certain part of the country, it is more a cultural thing, right? It's like um these people who claim to be Protestants or Catholics who've never been to church, but it's not really a religion, it's a image, it's an identity, it's a culture, it's part of who they are, right? Like um but fortunately that is not where I live. So to me, they're famous Scottish football teams, one of them is great, one of them is shite. I'm not gonna tell you which is which, but to me they're just football teams. But in reality, it's um, yeah, it's cultural. I remember reading something, and it was like a a, a tourist guide to um Scotland or to Glasgow. And it said um, if you get approached, and somebody asks you, Rangers or Celtic, be very careful. This question has fuck all to do with football. And that's true. That's true in certain parts of the world. It is. It's it's people launch their entire identity onto a fucking football team, but it's a fucking football team. Oh God. What is your view of life, the universe, and everything? Pretty awful, actually, most times. Nay bad the day. You're talking to a serious depressive here, son. Look, I'm from Aberdeen. We don't do philosophy here. 
Are you joking, Paul? Asked the council there smartly. Right. Um, I don't know what's right because, you know, Scots have got a, a reputation for being pretty morose and um, depressive sort of thing, you know, and like a, like funnily depressive, you know, like um, gallows humour and stuff like that. But to me, personally, I think life's what you make it. Right? You, 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 take the, you take the good with the bad. Right? And it's what you make it. You, you can live any kind of life you want. Just, you know, don't accept boxes. They accept being placed here. They accept being placed here, right? Um, one, of, well, uh, one of my favorite says is, is um, life is not about enduring the storm. It is about learning to dance in the fucking rain. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And I think that's true, right? You can, you can sit in your ass and be miserable or you can fucking change it. No matter what's going on. Almost no matter what's going on. You've got the power to change your situation, your circumstances. It might be difficult. It might take some difficult decisions, difficult choices. It might be hard. But I think you do have the... the... But back to the question... It's either nay bad the day, which means not bad today, nay bad the day, not bad today. Look, I'm from Aberdeen, we don't do philosophy here, it could be fine. But give it, I'm a, I'm a, I'm sort of optimistic kind of person, I'm nay bad the day. What would you do with Colin Skink? Lock it up, haven't got a clue, could you spell that again please? Eat it. Colin Skink is um, a certain type of fish soup, right? In... It really, really, really stinks. Like really fishy, really bad, like fishy smell. But it tastes pretty good. You get the fish and you get potatoes. It's sort of the mixture of it. It, it, it works, right? It works not too much. My wife hates fish, hates it. So I don't get it much. My mum and dad, my dad was a fisherman, right? My dad was a fisherman, he's away a lot. And, you know, you would think being a fisherman, when you come home, the last thing you'd want is to eat fucking fish. But he didn't. He liked fish. But my mum hated the smell of fish. So, if my dad wanted to fry fish, he'd a little like, um, gas burner in the garage. He had to actually go into the garage to cook a fish because she wouldn't let him cook it in the house. She didn't mind the money, but she didn't like the smell of fish. But yeah, cull and skink, you fucking eat it. Yum yum. Is Tony Blair English, Irish, part Irish, part English, but still Scott, a lion son of a bitch, who born and educated in Scotland, therefore Scott. He's not Scottish. He's not Scottish. He's, um, I believe, being Scottish is more than like geographical. It's more about, it's, it's a mindset. Right? It's, it's culturally, right? You have to be born here. Right? It, it's, it's I, th- I, I believe there is a, a difference, nay better or worse. I just think there's a difference between English and Scots. I, I do. I believe there is a actual m- cultural difference in why we are different. We vote for different things. Right? I believe there is a difference. We are no way Clayman, Tony, fucking Blair. You keep them. You elected them. You elected the new Labourite. Fucking keep him. Wine son of a bitch. How would you eat a porridge? Rarely. No. Nah. Hot for breakfast with milk and sugar. Yeah. Cold, cut from a drawer and reheated with a peat fire. <laughs> Only ever with salt, preferably with butter. Fried in butter, nearly above. I believe most Scots would um, do it with salt. Right? Porridge with salt. Although, nah. For me, it's got to be hot with milk and sugar. Now I've got a sweet tooth, tooth, one tooth. So I believe it is, it is, it is um, hot with milk and sugar. Um, I see some fucking comedian has put fried with butter, which you know they're probably tongue in cheek, but I'm sure, I'm sure people have tried that. I'm sure people have tried that because we will fry fucking anything. Anything 
Take a Mars bar into a chip shop and say, can you fry it for me, mate? Take a Twix into a chip shop, mate, can you fry it for me? They'll do it. One of the um, favourite ones, people some need to take a, a, like a mince pie, a frightened butter in it. It's supposed to be really, really good. But how do you eat porridge hot with milk and sugar? I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling I'm not very Scottish here. I've got a feeling I've got a big butter. What is Fife famous for? Where? St Andrews, the East Nuke, the West End, not a lot, frankly. The generosity of its citizens. Fuck knows, actually. I, I've, I've been to Fife, but it's never been memorable. You know, it's been like passing through stop. I know St Andrews is there, so I know out that list. Like St Andrews is the only one I've heard of, but I'm not a golfer. So I've got to say, not a lot, frankly, not a lot. An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman went into an Edinburgh pub. Who paid for the first round of drinks? You're joking, Paul. We don't do multiculturalism up here. The Englishman, of course, he's always paid for the Scots and the Irish. <laughs> the Irishmen, but the other two are fighting. Depends on the price of the round. None of them who said they were drinking together. Being a Scotsman, obviously the Scots. I would say the Scots. Scots get a reputation for being miserable fuckers, but in reality, in reality we're not. But then again, it is Edinburgh. If it said a Glasgow pub, that's different. Right? I'll tell you what your story. This is, this is the difference between um, Edinburgh and, and Glasgow. And Edinburgh is like fucking... Edinburgh is like London North, isn't it? A little bit. Edinburgh is like very... Um, yeah. So... Me and wife used to, she used to like go to Edinburgh a lot. Now, we're getting the tourist stuff. Like, the old town is beautiful in, for history and stuff like that. Ghost tours and stuff you can do. And, and it's great, right? So, we go to Edinburgh a lot. But Edinburgh is very, um, a lot of posh people in Edinburgh. Like, if you're walking down the Royal Mile, it's a lot of money in Edinburgh. And, like, you know, being a good, polite, well mannered loon. I would hold doors open for people. The people would just get walk past, right? Nobody really, nobody ever really said thank you or anything. They seemed a little bit rude in Edinburgh, a little bit, just a little bit. In you know, and then you go Glasgow, which has the reputation, right? Glasgow's got the reputation of, of danger, of of like um, it was once it was like the murder capital of Europe at one point or something like that. So that's one time I was in Glasgow, in there. Uh, City Centre shopping, and we're in a multi story car park. One of these multi stories that absolutely stinks of piss, and the lights are broken. And it's like, mate, it's my car, so I'll be here for I come back. Right? I can't play this. But anyway, we went there, and we did the shopping for like, you know, a date shop, and we'll come back to the multi story. And I put the coin token in the machine that says 16 quid. I'm like, fuck me, 16 quid for like a parking, right? 16 quid. 16 pounds, 16 pounds. And there's a voice behind me, and it, that's mine. He says to me, excuse me, mate, does that say 16 pound? And I goes, yeah. And he goes, see if you come with me back to my work around the corner, and you can scan your token, you'll get for half price. And I'm starting going, eh, because I'm thinking, why the fuck is this man being so kind? I'm thinking, this guy wants me inside, he's got to take me around the corner, stab me and mug me. That's honestly what I was thinking. I'm thinking, why is this man being like nice with the goodness of his heart to me? There must be an alternative reason, right? I, I was honestly thinking there's not a chance I'm leaving here with him. Like, not a chance. I'm like, I'm not getting fucking stabbed or 16 quid. And I was going like, eh, eh. And he says, I'll take it, mate. Here, take mine and I'll take yours. You know, I'll go back and scan it. And he gave me his token and I put it in and it was eight quid. He took mine and went to walk his work and just left. And man, I felt so bad. About sort of thinking that Iman was being anything other than nice, right? He was being fucking lovely, and I, I, I thought he was. He was. I thought there's no way this guy being being this nice to the goodness of his heart. But you know, and that is the difference. That is the difference. I feel. That is the difference in Glasgow and Edinburgh. I didn't think. I don't think that would have happened in Edinburgh. I think it would have. But in Glasgow, it's rougher. The people are poorer. There's less money. It is more dangerous if you go to the wrong places, but but 
I think the people are more down to earth. The people are nicer. Do you want to hear another story? Though? Right. So, that's one time I was um, on holiday. In, we flew back into Glasgow Airport. And how was it again? So from Glasgow Airport, yeah. So we flew to Glasgow Airport. We from Glasgow Airport. We had to get a train to um, train north, right? So um, we we'll get our we're in the the airport. We we need to get a taxi to the to the train station, which is in the city centre, right? So we're sort of waiting for a train station to open, right? Because we were flying like early, early, early hours in the morning. So we're waiting for a train station. Google what time the train station opens. So we'll get in a train station, just sort of put on bags and, and chill it, right? In air. Uh, so say it was like seven o'clock or something like that, right? In the train station. So seven o'clock, we we'll say, come on, get a taxi. Let's fucking get to the, the, the train station so we can get a train in, you know. But that's silly. Me, so I prick had forgot um to to fix my clock. This was pre before it automatically updated, right? So <laughs> when I thought it was seven in the morning, it was actually six in the morning, right? And uh, the taxi comes and drops us off in front of the train station, and it's still dark. in In the train station is a group of homeless people and rough looking motherfuckers, right? And we go to the talk centers with 10 of them. And they're just looking at us. Like me, a girl, like three cases in box, looking like fucking tourists. And we go to the talk I'm stopped, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, fuck me. I'm thinking, we're, oh, I'm, I said, sorry, grab your bag, let's get in the fucking corner, and move, you know, we're, we're in the corner, we're, let's go. So we took our cases, talked to us away, and we, we walked in the corner, um, and we're just kind of starting away. And we hear footsteps in there. Uh, one of us homeless guys comes walking in. And he's like, excuse me, folks. Do you want to buy a big issue? Big issue is the magazine that gets um, distributed to homeless people. And they can sell it for a bit of money. And the guy's like, do you want to buy a big issue? I'm like, I mate, no bother. I'll take three of the fucking things. I'm getting some money. Just hoping the guy's got it. And he says, thank you very much. He leaves. And, you know, nothing happened. But. Man, I was sketchy as shit. I was sketchy. I was terrified. I thought 100% we were getting mugged here. 100%. But again, that's just pre sort of. Mon just wanted to sell his big issues and I was happy to donate. But yeah, we don't do multiculturalism in English, of course. Scots paid for it. None of them who said they were doing it together fucking go back. Right? Submit answers. Apologies, you are 46% Scots. 46% fuck me, look at me. One third Scots is enough to entice you entitle you to a free haggis and council tax bill. Given your deplorable depressive state, we recommend your cheer shot might like to indulge in a large malt per hops. 46% Scots. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. I'm not fucking me count. I want to recount. 46, do I look 46% Scots? Fuck the internet. 